Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, show you two new creations that I uh, started working on in the last week. I haven't uh, done any videos or shown these yet, uh, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, but uh, I got two different types of creations. One is a uh, SV fighter bomber, and that is this one over here. And it's coming along pretty good. I got most of the whole work done on it right now, and even started putting in some. Uh, uh, cargo extensions on, and things on the inside. Uh, so, uh, essentially speaking, it's uh, meant to be a fairly uh, fighter-looking fighter, I guess you could say, a fighter bomber. Uh, I do plan on adding some bomb bays to this one for uh, with the Reforged Eden parts. Um, however, I'll probably uh, leave those out stock and, and just put on placeholders for that. So I could keep it uh, vanilla compatible as well. It's not actually using any uh, Reforged Eden specific parts on here. But uh, you can kind of see what it looks like right now. It's a pretty thin, low profile ship. It's using uh, both uh, new and old wing parts or the modular wing parts and the old old school ones. Uh, it's got a, quite a bit of thrust on it. And I'm trying to keep most of the thrusters visible. Doing some pretty unusual block work around the thrusters here. But it seems to be working for it for the most part. It uh, looks a little uh, unusual. Um, and then it's uh, going to have some bomb base here too. Uh, so this, the block work here, I kind of like that. Um, maybe there'll be placeholders uh, like that there. But uh, I did want to get some some bomb base in it. Um, right now, the uh, the hull is built of carbon. So it's it's a pretty fragile ship. I'm not going to lie on that one. It's going to be uh, definitely shield dependent. Um and uh, it has a pretty uh, decent uh, first-person uh, cockpit view on it uh, where you have a glass canopy kind of down below the floor a little bit as well. And a uh, pretty good uh, general uh, uh, sight range around it. Only a little bit of the screen is blocked on the, uh, the bottom left and right corners. But other than that, you can kind of see a little bit below you, sort of, or at least in front below you. Um, and then the interior is actually pretty uh, spacious as well. Um, it doesn't have a very tall ceiling. Now, it's only a three block tall ceiling for the most part of the interior, except for this center section here. It actually goes to four blocks for a little bit and back to three blocks on the front. Um, so that's kind of how this is coming out so far. Um, I've got a couple little uh, things to figure out yet. One thing it's lacking, and it seems like it would be a pretty easy thing to deal with, but in this case, it's... Uh, been a little tricky and that is adding landing gear to it uh it doesn't really have good uh spots right now that i can uh to deal with landing gear but i gotta i gotta dig into that and figure it out a little bit more um but uh essentially speaking it would look really right if it had a landing gear like on the well, one on the front there and then one on each of these uh these hind areas here but uh i can't really put landing gear there due to they're all uh, like that's right uh, below the cockpit and this is like right below a uh, thruster on the back side and speaking of the back side that's kind of what it's looking like here um, it uh, the thruster speeds are a little disproportional right now uh, I've got way too much forward thrust uh, because I'm using these uh, these really cool looking thrusters here and I'm using them because they're really cool looking and uh, I want to keep them because they're really cool looking. So that's kind of uh, where I'm at with that. Uh, but it literally, uh, one of these would be suffice to uh, push this uh, ship forward. Um, and it's got two. So that puts a kind of an imbalance on the uh, thruster speeds. Take a look at the current specs here. You got 159 forward, uh, and then 41 strafing, 67 lift, uh, 15 down, 67 reverse. So all the uh, the other ones uh the down thrust is a little weak i could uh perk that up a little bit here too to get it uh, mixed in better i probably will to some extent um but yeah a lot of uh a lot of uh forward thrust but uh i tell you what i really wish would uh the game had would would be an alternative uh version of this thruster just in stats i want the same part model but if there is one that uh used less cpu and had less thrust speed uh that would be really wonderful for this case uh but other than that um that's kind of where it's at right now and of course it was uh, uh a lot of it was uh, styled around uh looks really trying to be kind of that that thin low profile in the past i've had a lot of issues with uh my own creations uh with uh 
side profiles. And this one, I was really trying to focus on the side profile um, and try to get it to look kind of sleek and uh, similar to that of the kind of side profiles you might get off a, a real world uh, fighter jet uh, of one origin or another. Um, as of its exact weaponry on it, I don't exactly know. I do have a couple GATs uh, installed and four laser cannons. Um, I might keep those guns in there. Uh, these the laser turrets up top, though, I'm not so sure if that's a good choice. I like the looks of those, uh, the way they fit over the uh, little bit of a rounded pedestal on, on uh, where they're at. Uh, again, it was kind of more of a decision for looks as opposed to actual... Uh, like gameplay stuff, but I do want to make it a uh, worthy uh, gameplay uh, ship here. It's not very expensive currently. Um, I do plan on putting in a warp drive and a shield and reforged and shield parts and all that fun stuff in here as well. But I did kind of want to keep it. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot for keeping it dual compat compatible between uh, reforged Eden and vanilla. Uh, so it's not really using anything that's not in vanilla right now and the other parts like bomb uh, the bomb bay pieces and uh, additional shield parts would probably be not put in the ship stock but have placeholders for them it might even have the CPU allocated for those as well I just want to make sure you know you can get up and going in either uh, vanilla or reforged Eden with the uh, the ship um, not sure on the name on it yet it's probably going to be a Merc though um, I just don't know exactly what mark, if it's going to be the MX-7, which it would fit kind of into that class, or uh, just a different name, like a Merc uh, uh, B uh, initial for bomber or something like that. Um, not, not exactly sure on that one yet, but um, kind of excited about it. It seems to be working out pretty good. It's uh, thin. It's kind of, you know, looks the way I wanted it to, to look more or less. So I'm fairly happy with it. Of course, some more detail could be probably added in here too. Uh, it's pretty pretty light on detail on the uh, the top side of it right now, um, but uh, it's kind of working. You can kind of see a little bit of the uh, the lift thrusters uh, peeking through these uh, kind of weird grates there. But that is one of the two creations I've been working on. Um, the next one here, this one uh, kind of unusual ship here. Uh, so, um, God, what do I say about this one? This one I'm kind of deeming as an assault carrier, uh, so kind of a, a kind of a weird class ship. Uh, you don't normally put the the name assault in with a carrier, but uh, I'll show you wh where I'm getting that carrier aspect from uh, in a sec here. But for right now, it's uh, essentially it's uh, certainly pulling a lot of design cues from Star Wars uh, Imperial style creations, um, being a uh, triangular uh, shaped hull. Um, and, uh, yeah, I kind of like that, but I, I didn't just go with the triangle. I did these flares here for some strafing thrusters on the sides, which I thought was kind of fun. It's also got that kind of cut in that you might see on a Star Wars ship with a lot of, uh, busy work uh, in between like your, your plates and things like that. Um, it's running only Excel thrusters on this one. Uh, so you got two, uh, Excel strafing thrusters. You have the single, uh, reverse thruster here um, and then it's got a single down thruster as well uh, kind of in this location it does have three Excel uh, lift thrusters so you got the one up front here and then two more in the back kind of a, another triangle uh, formation more or less um, and then the back side of this also has uh, kind of your Star Wars kind of a big old thruster housing kind of things going on I might revise these a little bit here before it's a uh, all done too but uh, kind of the the general idea and general locations of where the uh, the four thrusters would be on here uh, it does have long-range radar already um, and then you have of course your bridge up on the top part here um, which is kind of uh, you know more of your uh, starter uh, small small star destroyer kind of overhanging bridge set up a little bit of uh, stuff in the, uh, on the on the deck here uh, one nice thing about uh, a layout like this, a kind of a tiered triangular approach, is I, I, it provides an awful lot of good uh, line of sight turret positions. Um, and it's got quite a few turrets I threw on here right now. But it, it literally, if I really wanted to, to pack it in, I could get a lot more in there and I'll have a, a, a good line of sight as well. 
So it's it's a, just a nice type of uh, hull design to, to put a lot of uh, neat turrets on it. Um, speaking of the turrets, uh, I don't plan on actually having any retractable turrets on this ship. I, I know it's got a bunch of them right now. They're kind of placeholders. What I started doing, uh, the last thing I did uh, last night when I was working on it, was I started uh, building out uh, uh, area below where the turret uh, would be placed, uh, some block work, and then uh, uh, at some point when I get into painting this, I will uh, paint all this up and then copy and paste it and remove all these retractable turrets and put these in its place, and then you put the turret, an actual uh, non-retractable type, on top of that, and hopefully that will look kind of neat. It also has three artillery turrets uh, installed in here right now. I don't plan on having it uh, released with these installed, um, but this would uh, allow you to uh, put in some you know, artillery turrets if you want them. Or another alternative would be uh, dense mining drills, which are also artillery-sized turrets. So you'd have your options there. Uh, kind of a weird, a weird setup being able to do dense mining on a ship like this, but I think it would work okay. Um, regular mining, not so much. Not not with your regular laser miner uh, pieces, but uh, the dense mining, uh, it's kind of like uh, they automatically do things. So you could be flying your ship up here, and then all three of these turrets could be... Uh, you know, hitting an asteroid, uh, dense mining asteroid, like in front of you or a little bit above you or something like that. Um, on the bottom side, it does have landing gear and all that fun stuff already. It does even have a front uh, entry ramp uh, out in this general section over here. Kind of a little one right now that might get revised a little bit as well. Um, as in um, its uh, front uh, defenses. Now, another uh, aspect on this too is it is built of steel. Uh, and it's using a lot of the Reforged Eden structural frame blocks to do that three to one angle ratio that this uh, entire ship depends on, really. Um, so you have one reverse XL thruster here. Uh, behind that is uh, a wall, basically. This is gonna be a Xeno block as well. And you have one of the three lift thrusters, and then another Xeno block wall, and then you have your, your down thruster. Um, as in defense purposes, uh, of course, you get your, uh, if you get this thruster blown out, you lose reverse, okay? But it's not going to take you out of the fight. You're just going to lose reverse. Um, that's kind of something I'm just going to have to deal with on this on this shape and design. Um, but the, the, the amount of hit points that these thrusters have are a lot. Uh, 16,000 hit points on one of these XL thrusters versus a Xeno block at 3750. So Sensus has three of these stacked one after another after another with walls of Xeno block in there. Um, which is a lot of hit points on the front of the ship. And then especially if I kind of fill in some of these side areas over here with some more Xeno block, it'll uh, make a pretty hardened front end on here. And literally, if you lost all three of these, you would lose two directions. You would lose down and you'd lose forward, but you would, uh, everything else would be intact. And um, you could probably escape the battle. Um, it's kind of kind of the way I'm looking at it right now, at least. I don't know if that's the right way to look at it, but... Uh, for the amount of CPU usage on the amount of thrust power it's got, it's, it's, I'm trying to keep it pretty optimal. That's why I'm only using the XL thrusters as well. Um, so a great aspect about this ship, though, is with this hull design, the ship is not that terribly big, but this hangar is, for the size ship, it is really big. Um, a lot of room in here, uh, which I kind of like, so that's why I'm kind of calling this, uh, or uh, planning on calling this an assault carrier. Um, because you have your carrier, uh, your big old hanger for your carrier inside of here. Um, and then if you've got a lot of firepower as well on the ship, plus uh, defenses, um, things like that. Right now, the, the, the layout on the interior would be to have engineering sections off to either side of the hangar out over here. Places to put in like the, the shield, some shield parts, um, warp drive, all that fun stuff. Um, on the outer wall of that, kind of uh, inwards towards the hangar, would be uh, production on one side and probably uh, utility uh, functions on the other side, such as your med bay, armor, locker repair, um, all that kind of fun stuff on the other side. Um, and then pretty much keep this whole area open as a hangar, um, all the way up to the front, which would have, probably have some kind of wall sealing this front area off from the, uh, the hangar section. Uh, so... Yeah, I think uh, for the most part, I should be able to make it all work. Um, then, uh, with the rest of the ship, there's not that much more ship left, really. They probably have a couple elevators going on either side of the hangar. 
up to this uh, floor in the middle here in between the hangar and the bridge. Um, and this area I'm kind of actually uh, kind of want to deem as a small farm. Um, I'm guessing I could get maybe about 36 grow plots in here. Um, and then after that, it's just right up to the bridge. And that's pretty much the whole ship. Uh, so everything would be pretty close by. You'd have a lot of hangar space. You could do some combat stuff. Um, if equipped with dense mining drills, you could uh, perform that function as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the ship. So w this one was kind of based around a couple other ships, actually, that I made in the past. And I think, uh, where'd the other one go? Oh, the other one's all the way down there now. So I had the, the Nemesis Battle Cruiser and the Asteria Destroyer, which is now down there. Um, and this is kind of, uh, I was asked uh, several times, actually, if I was ever going to rebuild or re or make a new Nemesis. And I kind of hemmed and hawed where I didn't think it would work out. Um, and I thought about it a little bit. I'm like, well, I can't really do a ship like the Nemesis anymore. It was, it was built a long, long time ago, probably close to six years ago, um, and with a whole different stat system. And everything about the game was kind of different then. And uh, uh, this is a, a double-layered combat steel hauled ship with a little bit of extra stuff on the front. Um, and, it, you know, it was uh, definitely one of the most uh, toughest hauled ships that I've built. Uh, but it's super heavy. And despite having bazillions of thrusters on here, just the, uh, the large-style thrusters or uh, whatever, whatever size these are over here, uh, it has a whole lot of them. Um, I remember when I first got this thing done and put out to the workshop, uh, this thing flow, uh, flew like a twitchy SV. Uh, essentially, it was so quick, it would turn on a dime, and it looked unrealistic for the size ship it was. Um, but I wanted it to be fast and agile because of the combat nature of it. Um, and, it and it worked. And those thrusters provided a huge amount of uh, uh speeds and uh, turning ability um, now when i look at the ship in reforged in you know six years later um, it's a very sluggish heavy ship uh you know 21 forward 14 strafing the roll y'all and pitch aren't very wonderful either uh, so yeah it was kind of a kind of a thing where i can't really build something like this and expect it to work in the modern game not to mention this blows the cpu right out of the water if you're trying to go for a core nine on this build um so and then i uh later on i built this uh asteria which uh, i guess uh kind of fell out of the sky went down over here for some re weird reason right now um so this one was after the first iteration of cpu was uh entered into the game and it's not the same CPU as we have now. It's, it was different yet. Um, and this one was about the idea of using very few but really big uh, thrusters, which were optimal for your thrust performance. I guess it's kind of similar to that uh, in the current game as well. But this one was using like a single reverse thruster, single uh, lift thruster, uh, I think uh, it did have two down thrusters in it. Uh, they were kind of split up uh, on, the, on the sides there. But it was basically trying not to use very many thrusters to keep the CPU cost down, but keep the performance up. And then it was, uh, it, it, I think it maxed out the uh, vanilla weapons uh, limitations on what it had if you followed the, uh, the weapon limit guides. Um, so it had like all the, all the guns pretty much and uh and it, and it worked uh cpu wise uh, it balanced out and everything um and this is also a combat steel hauled ship uh it was back in the day when most ships i did build were probably combat steel um that's changed a lot now um like on this new ship here let me get back up to it here this one is uh just a steel hauled ship but i plan on having like xeno backing blocks of course on the front end of the ship probably not on the rest of the hull though because it's, it's too much it's too much space to try to cover with xeno blocks i'd have to add way too many to to pull that off but i could I'm, I'm definitely willing to to harden up the front end of the ship pretty good um but essentially that speaking this ship is kind of meant to be it's sort of in between the size of the asteria and the nemesis it's a little smaller than the nemesis a little bit bigger than the asteria and uh, kind of fulfills the same role. 
as those two ships. These other two ships also did have uh, hangers and uh, those kinds of things in them. Just uh, this newer ship actually has quite a bit bigger hanger. Um, the Nemesis had a all right size hanger, but uh, not, not, not quite as big as the, uh, the new one over here. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at with it and uh, where I'm kind of going in direction on how I want to do the interior up and everything like that. Again, it's not a really big ship, uh, but it is, you know, it's decent size. It's uh, currently sitting in that size class four, how it sits here right now. Um, and it moves around pretty good too um, with the steel hull. Of course, the, uh, the motions will uh, reduce uh, as I add in more uh, blocks and everything else and parts and xeno blocks and stuff. But it's, it's got some pretty good uh, performance right now. Um, again, it's not going to be quite, it's going to lower down a decent amount. But it'll have, uh, it should be relatively nice to fly around, um, I think, in the end. Um, have a lot of combat capabilities with firepower potential. I don't know, again, I, you know, I'll have to balance it out with turrets on how many turrets I get on versus CPU. I did want this to release as a core 9. Uh, and be upgradable. Um, I'm planning on going up to medium shield parts with this ship, but not large or fusion reactor. Um, and let, uh, let me know your opinion on everything I brought up too um, on any of these these topics. You know, one of the one of the uh, the things I did uh, say I was going to put in here was a farm. You know, I don't know necessarily if it needs a farm, but I was trying to keep it the same class as these other ships that it could basically be your your main ship that you uh, do everything in in the, in the game. Um, and uh, therefore, if it was your main ship, uh, you may you might want to farm. You know, it might, it might be a, a nice option to have that. Um, and farms are super cheap. In fact, it doesn't really cost any CPU or anything to put in a farm. Um, but if it wasn't, a, if it didn't have a farm, you know, I just have to uh, probably have a CPU core room in that same location and maybe a small crew crew room or something like that, or I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, it would be a pretty tight build, uh, no fluff uh, or anything like that going on. Now, I've got more detailing and things to do even to the hull yet, um, and then i got to paint the whole thing. I don't quite have the, the underside done or detailed yet. I started working on parts of it, but... Uh, I might change some of the, the block formations around a little bit in places uh, to dial that in. One last aspect before I end the video here is um, the uh, turret setup. Uh, again, uh, front facing, uh, line of sight kind of turret setup. But uh, one thing I'm doing with this ship that's a little bit different than some of the other combat ships that I've done is I'm putting, uh, by and large, the bulk of the turrets on the top uh, surface and only um, basically some drone shooters on the bottom um, and I think uh, I think that way will work out the best because I don't want to like bulk it up with too many turrets it makes it too expensive and 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 there's uh, a lot of different limitations and things on that on how many turrets you can have um, so I wanted to have the bulk of the turrets on one side and of course the top side and the idea of this is when you're flying around shooting your enemies um, you can kind of see all your turrets firing at, at when you're sitting in the cockpit way in back here, which is a nice defensive position. That's a great thing about a Star Destroyer style design is, is you got a, a cockpit way in the back of the ship, which gives you a lot of uh, a lot of room in front of you and whatever you're attacking. Um, and this is kind of neat, too, because if you tilt your ship just a little bit or, or just face it forward, you'll... Uh, all these top guns will fire, but if you were tilted a little bit, which I find myself to be tilted a, a quite a bit in combat, even in the, in the real game, that the turrets on the bottom side, say it had the same number of turrets on the bottom side, kind of uh, uh, in layers like it is on the top side, a lot of those won't be able to fire at the target if you're, if you're leaning a little bit. Um, and that's kind of, you know, so I, I kind of wanted uh, to keep everything more visible on the top side, and not to mention I didn't want to run like 50 turrets on here. Um, of course I could always add more, but, um, you know, it, it gets expensive and, uh, things are changing and whatnot. And hopefully the ship can adapt to that too. Um, but it should be maneuverable. It should be, uh, absence, uh, of fluff, uh, should have a lot of, uh, a decent sized hanger. 
um, for sure. And, uh, you know, a lot of firepower, plus uh, your all your uh, base game utility function that you can do on a CV. So that's kind of the, uh, the game plan on that one. And uh, let me know what you think. And again, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be kind of a, it's supposed to be a hybrid between the Nemesis and the Asteria is where this came to be with a lot of uh, uh, Star Wars influences in the mix um, with the uh, triangular uh, wedge shaped kind of design to it, which is kind of fun. Um, and uh, the worst part about this ship is going to be painting it with those structural frame blocks. I can't do much with them. I'm going to have to come up with the, a paint scheme that can work with the structural frame blocks. Um, so I'll have to uh, mess with that. I'm, I'm a little nervous on that, that aspect of it, but everything else, interior space, everything, it's kind of a no brainer. It should be pretty easy to build. I don't have to plan any new areas out or, uh, design some new lounge or something like that. It's not going to have any of that stuff in it. It's going to be pretty much all about business. Um, and then that, that optional, uh, I don't know how it's going to work out since I've never actually done dense mining, but I've seen it work and basically it uses, uh, something that looks, uh, exactly like an artil artillery turret and they go out and they just automatically, you know, if you're near a dense asteroid, uh, they just do it, you know, if they, if they're on, um, and things like that. So uh, I think that would work out pretty good too, uh, even with where you're flying in the ship, uh, from the first person uh, flight view, you probably would at least be able to see this, this front turret work, but you might be able to see the, uh, the laser beams from the other uh, turrets uh, doing the mining as well. And then of course, this is, you know, uh, the, the dense asteroids are also kind of protected by various things. And uh, this could, you know, deal with those various things and take those out as well. So could work pretty good as that and your main ship lands on the ground just fine does have landing gear um, and landing gear are kind of doubled up on each uh, bottom of these uh, kind of thruster extensions that stick out the side and then you do have a boarding ramp here I got to fix the block work over here but you do have a way in from the bottom side of the ship over there as well one last feature I didn't put in yet but it will have and that's a quick way into the uh, oh actually I was thinking I was kind of planning that out already but I wanted a, a quick way into the uh, the bridge from outside of the ship as well. Um, oh, and the last thing I forgot to mention too, is this back area is kind of like a little small landing deck. Um, so you could park like something small here, SV or something, and uh, then you could uh, like pop right into the ship and go up to the bridge um, on the back. So you got one of those on either side of the uh, the back part of the ship. So... Other than that, that is all I've got for today. Please let me know what your thoughts are on these uh, two new creations here. Um, both kind of fun to build. I'm so far liking both of them. Um, I, I wasn't sure when I first started this one. I just kind of wanted to mess around and see how it would come out. And I wasn't even planning on finishing it. And then I just kept on doing it a little bit more and a little bit more. And suddenly I started liking it. Um, and then I was like, oh, I got to finish this. It's the same thing was kind of kind of going on with this SV. Um yeah just uh came out good so i didn't i didn't trash either one of these builds here which is cool anyway uh other than that uh that's all i've got for today please let me know your thoughts and uh you have yourself a wonderful afternoon i will talk to you later